got engaged. Um, I am engaged. This is the ring. He did such an amazing job picking it out. It's a pear shape, which I absolutely love, and he knows that. But um, I'm going to take it off to show you. He chose this really like cool, unique, like twisted band that I think is the prettiest. It adds such a nice detail to um, to an otherwise like very simple ring, which is what I wanted. I wanted something timeless and simple, and the proposal was amazing. It was just us, and um, I thought he was joking <laughs> uh, when he first asked me, and I started crying, and... Um, it was on our five year anniversary on September 16th. So it's been about a month that I've been engaged. Um, and our engagement party is next week uh, on the 19th, so next Saturday. Um, and so I guess this is kind of the beginning of like a wedding series. Um, even though daily vlogging has kind of fallen through because there hasn't bitch been much in life that I've wanted to document. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to document this. I want to remember the wedding process and everything um, for the rest of my life. Um, so I originally had my coffee in this uh, A Yawn is a Silent Scream for Coffee Cup from Francesca's, but I am sweating. I just came home from work and I was dressed for the morning which is really cool but now it's really hot. So as you can see I put on a dress. I'm, I've turned my coffee into an iced coffee and um, I kind of want to update you where I'm at. So in the wedding process, planning process, um, sorry, my glasses were bothering me. I keep seeing the glare. Um, I, the first thing I did was I bought a wedding planner. This is the one that I've wanted forever from Kate Spade. I love this kind of Miss to Mrs. theme. I think it's so cute. Um, the blush, my wedding colors are actually going to be blush and gray. So this works out perfectly with that. So, um, so far for my bridesmaid inspo, I'm kind of thinking this for the hair, the shoes, I have some groomsmen inspo, some nail inspo, which I think this is maybe the winner. Um, I have, you know, some more kind of hair and makeup for myself, some of my dress inspo, flowers, centerpieces, and I think that's all I have for rain. Oh, and cake. So that's kind of the vibe uh, so far. It's going to be kind of like a little bit boho, um, very like comfortable. Like I want everybody to feel, I mean, it's just really going to be our friends and family. Um, so I just want it to feel, you know, we're all celebrating me and Roman. Um, I did get a couple of things already for the wedding. I'll link the Etsy shops um, in the description bar because, oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I think these are the only things I've gotten so far. Yeah. So the first thing I got was this. I'm going to block out the address. But it's this adorable return stamp. So it comes in this little bag. Um, the one that we chose has this little kind of leaf design and then our names in kind of like a calligraphy font and then underneath is um, the address. So that when we're addressing save the dates and all of that kind of stuff we can just stamp the return address. Um, so that came super timely. It came from England but it got here so quick and it's so beautiful. Like, let me show you the actual stamp. So this one is, again, I kind of want to block the address. This is hard. So it's just like this kind of clear, like, block. And it's just so beautiful. Um, and it's going to make it really classy, really easy to, like, stamp everything. Really excited about it. And then, also, just to give our envelopes a little bit of personality, um, I got this stamp here that's like an ivy leaf. Um, and so, same thing. Um, 
I'll just be able to stamp it on like the sides of the envelope to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Although I did also order some ink, which didn't come, so I do have to contact the Etsy shop about that. Unfortunately, I hate complaining about that kind of stuff. Um, although he did send some fun stickers. Um, as far as how far along I am in the wedding process, um, we're getting married this summer, um, and I'm actually pretty far. Um, the next step that I'm doing is finalizing uh, invitations, save the dates, and wedding programs. So kind of figuring out what's the style I'm looking for, what do I want, what am I doing, all of that. Good morning. So, um, today I am testing out a look for my engagement party. Um, it's using the new Disney uh, Midnight Masquerade palette from ColourPop. I am absolutely obsessed. I already have the... Um, it's a princess thing shadow palette from them and I love it um, just to show you kind of the difference see so yeah, I use this a lot so we have some colors that are similar like um, damsel and juju are kind of similar they're both like a pink but I find damsels a lot more cool toned and same with like pimp and grumpy grumpy's a lot more like of a pink brown uh, and pip is like kind of more of a gray brown um, so I'm going to do a look purely using the Disney Masquerade palette. I'm also obsessed with the art inside of it. I think it's so gorgeous. Uh, the dress code, the theme is fall for my engagement party, and the dress code is like fall, like cozy. So it's um, like turtleneck sweaters, leggings, reading socks. So I'm going to be wearing my gray polka dot reading socks. I have a white turtleneck with balloon sleeves that I'm going to be wearing. And then, of course, just some black leggings. Um... I'm not 100% happy with the lip. I still feel like it's a little, I don't know, like, off with the rest of the look. I have a feeling I might just do just this color, the sugar cookie color, and really let the eyes be the show. But this is... The final look. So it's, oh my gosh. Excuse my messy eyebrows. Um, I am obsessed. Like this glitter is so beautiful. Um, the pigmentation amazing. I mean, obviously some of the things are like a me problem. Like this is a little too droopy, I think. But that's just a matter of me, like, using my concealer to, like, clean it up. Um, so, yeah, I think this might be the look for Saturday night. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I might change. I feel like I a little bit want to add um, Royal Ball, which is that other pressed glitter, um, the white one. Just, like, a touch on top of the pink pressed glitter. Um... But yeah, so that is the engagement party look, and I will see you tomorrow with Mary Margaret to be yeah, planning um, more wedding stuff and potentially printing save the dates. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad I caught that on camera. Yeah, me too. Um, so Mary and I have just finished getting some stuff for the engagement party tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't quite as much like decor as we were anticipating um I don't know I, I guess we were kind of just looking for like decor I was looking for storage as well because I want to clean my apartment again soon and I feel like the more like honestly do I need more storage bins I don't know I feel like I do I don't, I, I don't want to comment on that so we but we ended up getting a few couple of really cute things a bunch of like plates and stuff because I'm not about to do dishes for 30 people tomorrow um, and then I got this cute cute pillow that says our home on it very sweet and it was 70% off honestly so score I almost bought everything that was 70% off just because it was 70% off um, and then I also got ink for the stamps um, unfortunately, the save the date printing situation didn't really work. Um, no, we didn't entirely 
think it through. I didn't, like in hindsight, it's something that both of us should have realized and yet did not. Well, because the font that I used on my save the dates is like a font I downloaded. And so I didn't click that like, if I was to go into a computer that didn't have that font, I needed to have the document saved as a PDF or else it would open up with like, not the font. It's really weird. It's, it's one of those things like even the bridesmaid's dress that I was looking at has now completely sold out. The David's Bridal one. What? Yeah. How? And it's been like two weeks. How? So I don't understand. The wedding life is, it's cutthroat, people. Yeah. Cutthroat. Although I wonder if it's because if people are doing spring weddings, then this would be the time that they'd be buying all of that. I guess, I guess. I just need to get to asking my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids, so. so can do dresses and shopping and fittings and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. We're gonna try and, I'm gonna try and save the save the date as a PDF so that we can, we won't have time, we won't be able to stop by a Staples tonight, but tomorrow when we're grabbing some stuff for the engagement party, we're gonna be grabbing, of course, like food and ingredients and, um, I don't know, oh, we're helium, helium, heliuming up. The balloons. Some balloons. I think that's it that we're doing, right? We're grabbing like food yeah, stuff. And liquor store. And liquor store. Mm -hmm. And helium. And now save the dates. Yes. And we kind of want to stop and at Valley Village. Village. Just to see like what they have. Yes. And to get Jenga. And Jenga. Because I saw this super cute idea for an engagement party thing, which is um, everyone who comes to your engagement party writes like a little, like they sign their name and writes a memory of you on the Jenga piece, which I think is so cute and definitely want that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be adorable. But I'm not about to spend like $50 on Jenga either, so. That's the key. Value Village definitely does get Jenga in sometimes because I found a Jenga game there. But I guess maybe we should like check Value Village first and then I guess we can always check how much it is at Walmart afterwards. Yeah, or at um, Indigo. Yeah. Indigo carries on and I. All right, so the engagement party is gonna start soon. Um, Ali, I'm not doing like actual vlogging anymore. I'm just doing like wedding vlogs. That's my sister, she's here. <laughs> she's laughing at me because she's like, oh my gosh, what a loser, she's <laughs> vlogging. Um, so, uh, just, this is the eye makeup. Very similar to what I did on Thursday for my test run. Um, just to quickly show you the ambiance of the plants. Oh yeah, there's the pumpkin cookies. I made those, those pumpkin oatmeal She made cookies. them, oh, Alice made them. And it has pillows on the ground, little pillows, like a love pillow over there. Um, I have my fairy lights on, some candles. I mean, I think that's probably it. That's like actually Why engagement that themed. Risk factor? Um, I have nerves set up. Does he not understand? Probably not. I'm going to be making not gonna and he's not gonna cider with this pumpkin spiced whiskey. The food is starting to come in. Thanks, Kujo. And then I have this. So these napkins I thought were super cute. And then, yeah. So that's. That's the beginning of that. <laughs> okay, so five minute update. Sorry that the lighting's so weird. The sun's like coming up and it can't decide what it wants to do. So um, obviously I did not vlog the actual party. I totally meant to, but then I got caught up in everything and just hanging out with everyone. Um, and it was amazing. I definitely recommend if you're doing... Um, an engagement party to do the Yahtzee thing that I mentioned. So we just bought Tumbling Towers and it literally, the entire party ended up being, cause we had like 20 plus people there. So the whole party ended up um, just being going through the memories and Roman and I were supposed to guess whose memories they were. And it just ended up to this whole like three hour session of like we're eating food, we're drinking a little bit of wine and we're just reminiscing about everything. It was so good. Um, 
I loved it. And now we have those blocks with the memories written on it forever. So that was a win. Like if you're doing an engagement party, 10 out of 10 recommend, especially if it's one that you're hosting. Maybe if it's at like a restaurant, it's a little bit weirder to just like pull out Jenga and be like, here, go for it. But um, I loved it. And yeah so at the aftermath we have our balloons here from where we were taking photos i have my little love balloon down there just like to have it until it deflates um because it's so cute and i mean i paid for helium for these ones so i'm gonna keep them until they start to sink and then i'll throw them out i have all of these balloons here that were just like littered on the floor i love 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 these like confetti ones i think they're so fun um but i'm gonna have to clean those soon obviously uh, and today I'm hanging out with Paulina. We're um, looking for a Halloween costume. We want to go as Annalise and Erica from Princess and the Popper, Barbie's Princess and the Popper. Um, and so we're going to look for dresses for that. And then tomorrow I'm going wedding dress shopping. So um, I'm going to charge my camera because it's only at 14%. And <clears throat> I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, and hopefully edit that and ha edit this and have this up by Sunday. Uh, and then the next Sunday will be wedding dress shopping because I'm going shopping tomorrow and Saturday. Um, one of my friends couldn't make it, unfortunately. Um, but it's, I still think it's going to be a really good time. Um, so yeah. And then that's pretty much it so uh thank you so much for checking in um if you have any questions about anything in this video please leave a comment please send me a message and see you next week bye guys